Most of the time when I'm working in Blender, it's not the modeling that slows me down. It's usually the stuff around it, like UVs, baking, naming meshes, making LODs and cleaning everything up for export. That's usually where most people lose time. Then I started using this add-on called G-Ready and it threw away most of those boring tasks. Things like baking multiple objects at once, setting up naming for high and low poly meshes, simple bevel setups and multiple LOD generation. What I like is that it doesn't feel complicated. It just removed the steps I normally repeat every single time. After a while, the workflow starts to feel more straightforward, especially when you're preparing assets for game engines. So in this video, I'm gonna show you its features and how I actually use it in my projects. If you deal with game ready assets in Blender, make sure to watch till the end because I'm pretty sure you're gonna find this useful. Let's go! For installing the add-on, it's pretty straightforward. Just go to edit, preference, add-on, from the drop down, click on install from disk. Find the add-on you just downloaded, then make sure to enable the G-Ready add-on from the list. Ready to go! Now when you press N, you should be able to see it in the menu. Then in the Auto UV Unwrap tab, don't forget to download the Ministry of Flat for UV unwrapping to work correctly. As you can see, there's a variety of options this add-on can offer, from modeling tools, automation tools for baking, LODs, and a lot of other things. For example, one of the best tools I found here is auto renaming that can rename your low poly and high poly models in a second. It automatically detects the poly count and based on that, renames the objects in your scene for baking. This add-on also gives you flexible renaming options. Whether you want numerical naming, high to low or low to high setups, it adapts to your pipeline so you can organize the assets exactly the way your workflow demands. Another cool option that this add-on offers is LOD Generator. You can create up to 5 LODs for your models at the same time. And you can control it with the number of triangles or ratio. Oh, and the cool part? It triangles your models for easy import to game engines. For UV unwrapping, G-Ready includes smart tools that automatically detects stretch UV areas and identifies hard edges in your model, making scene placement much faster, cleaner and far more efficient. This tab also gives you a wide range of customizable settings from handling overlapping parts and world scale UVs to smoothing triangulation all designed to keep your UVs clean and nice. As you can see, you can quickly UV unwrap, average islands, and pack both your low poly and high poly models with zero effort. No headaches, no manual cleanup. Just imagine how much time you can save with this tool alone. And at last, we got a really good one, which is baking tool. You can bake all types of maps with the resolution up to 8K, along with the extensive quality controls, precise case setup, adjustable ray distance, compression options, and much more. Honestly, showing everything here would take an entire video on its own. So let's move on. Let's wrap it up with a quick real world example. I'm gonna create a simple prop from start to finish to show you how this add-on actually fits into a game ready workflow, not in theory, but in action. Actually, I had no idea what to model. I just saw a blender machine in front of me and thought to myself, okay, let's add a screen to it and call it sci-fi, cause why not? It doesn't need to be complicated or overloaded with details. The goal here is a speed. So let's keep it simple and model it real fast. Basically, all I did here was add in a few loop cuts and use the extract along normals option to introduce some simple surface details. Just a quick controlled edits to break up the shape and give it a more visual interest without complicating the geometry. Now let's duplicate and add a subdivision surface modifier, set the level to 2 and switch to simple. This way we're not changing the shape, we're just adding more geometry to serve as a solid base for high poly. I also added a few bevels to the outer edges to soften the silhouette and give the model a smoother feel. Then I made a simple cutout for the screen or some kind of display. And now with the basic shape in place, this is where we can stop worrying about manual prep and let the add-on take over the rest of the workflow. First thing first, let's select our model and use the auto rename tool to correctly set up the high poly and low poly naming. Now imagine doing this across 10 or 20 objects and how much time you can save with this tool alone. Now let's unwrap our low poly and select the seams. There we go. Then doing the exact same steps for the high poly. Done. Alright, for baking, let's run a quick test using 2K normal map. 
We'll select both the low poly and high poly models. Set the save location, generate a cage, and hit bake. And just like that, the normal map is ready. The point here is to show how quickly you can get a clean, usable, game ready results and keep the workflow moving. As you know, you can't really call a model game ready without having multiple polycant variants. So let's quickly generate three LODs for this asset and enable triangulation to make sure it imports cleanly into whatever engine you're using. And that's it, from modeling to game ready in only a few minutes. Tools like this don't replace a skill, they remove the friction. If workflow speed matters to you, this add-on absolutely delivers. There are a lot of other cool features available in the add-on. You can find the link of the add-on in the description. It also has a 20% discount from my link, so it comes out really cheap at the end. Also, you can check out my Gumroad to download real-time tutorials and the cool add-ons I've made that helps you speed up your workflow much more, like Haircard Studio and iForge. See you on the next one. Peace.